Last week, we built a foundation. One was on soft ground sand. The other one was on a rock, a good foundation. And you can see that probably the two men used the tools you're probably looking at right here in my toolbox. You see, we got all kinds of tools in this toolbox. And leave it to a dad, a man, to have a Mother's Day children's minute using tools but there is a tool in this toolbox that is really 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 important uh, to a carpenter to any type of uh, around the house um, fixer upper type project and that is going to be the hammer you see the hammer is a very strong tool and it has two parts to it it has the face and it has a hook. And the face is what we use to what? Hit the nail, right? And the, the hook is what we use to pull the nail out. You know, in Scripture, Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, it says, Honor thy mother and thy father. And using this hammer is a good example of how you can honor your mother and your father. You see, when I was little, I used to have to go everywhere with my mom and sometimes with my grandmother. And the biggest thing is we would go shopping, clothes shopping. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. You go there, you have to put the pants on, you come out, they have to jiggle it a little bit to make sure it's good around the waist. And you're just like, Mom, stop. You know, they put all your good clothes on so they can get a good picture or make you look good. And you're just like, ugh, right? But when you look at this hammer, we look at what the face does. You see, the face hits. It knocks things into wood, right? The nail. You know, when you complained of what your mother was doing, you were just knocking her. You were knocking her down. Maybe you were trying to make her get so mad that she would just give up and not do what she wants to do with you. You see, you just kept on knocking and knocking and knocking, and you were bothering her. But you know what your mother was doing? She was pulling you up. You see, with this hook, it pulls the nail out. When the nail is crooked or not straight, you pull it out to either replace it or to correct it to make it better so it can be a stronger um, hold. And so your mother was buying those clothes for you. Your mother was making sure those clothes fit just right so that it would not hurt you, so you would look good, so that you would not have to get replaced time and time again. You see, we honor our mother and our father, and we honor our mother. Our mother loves us so much, and our mother does not just hammer us down. Sometimes we may hammer her down, or we try to ruin, ruin her, or we try to, you know, frustrate her, and believe you me, I've done it, and I probably still do sometimes. But as a mother, a mother's going to sit there and she's going to make sure that you're perfect. She's going to make sure that you're on the straight and narrow. And so she may have to pull you up every now and then to get you straight. And so like this hammer, okay, don't go around and hitting people, putting them down. You know, make sure that you're lifting them up like this hook part, lifting people up. Lift your mother up today. Do something for her. Love her. Cherish her. Because she's a wonderful person. And she's done so much for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this message. And again, as you go into your tools and as you work, just may this hammer remind you that your mother's not going to put you down. She's only going to lift you up so that you can be on the straight and narrow. Let's pray. Grace and Father, thank you so much for allowing us to be here this morning. Thank you so much for this message. Father God, help our children just be great uh, sons and daughters to their parents. May they honor them every day, but may today just be something special. May they just give their mothers a hug and say they love you. Father God, thank you so much for allowing us to be the... Uh, the gift that you can only provide. And thank you so much for allowing us to see in your word how we can lift those up who need you, how we can lift those people up who are in down times. And may we not just hammer away at somebody, 
but may we get them on the straight and narrow. And, and yes, even uh, children can, can be that importance in doing that. Thank you so much. And we just look forward to spending the day uh, with our mothers. Amen. Kids, I love you. I'm looking forward to having some time with you. Um, there are some plans coming up, so hopefully we can get together on on uh, here at the church and do some social distancing uh, lessons and have a good time. But until then, I love you. I hope you're enjoying the weekly lessons. And Jess and Alex truly miss you. I know Melody misses you, and, and I hope you enjoyed the appreciation that we did for them this past Friday. It's truly deserved. Again, thank you so much. I love you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.